welcome to Houston Texas and Minute Maid Park we've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day the Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros along with Chris Singleton I'm John Chomby Chris today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar Jackie Robinson Day everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now, showing the slab in today's game. J.P. France, what do you look for here? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Ready to go now, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Right side, hard hit. On to first, and Acuna retired. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. It features one of the sport's true superstars, Matt Olson. Oh, Boog, he's got great power just to every section of the ballpark, man. I love watching guys like this who can give it a ride to the opposite field or go dead center. I mean, that's really hitting. When you can hit and drive the ball up the middle other way, look out. Keep an eye oh, out on this guy when he digs in. I wouldn't be surprised to see him launch one in this game. One down, base is empty. Aye. On a bounce right side. Whips it to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Hey, man. Four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's Austin Riley. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Ball exactly. one on a pitch inside. Two out, space is empty. And a foul ball. The pitch. That one finds the zone. And a count one and two. He's dealing with a great two strike hitter right here. The strikeout is oh. not automatic. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. Wouldn't Eight chase four. that time. Matt Olson up next. Now fly ball to right center. He's got it, and that is out number three. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Back here at Minute Maid Park, and on the mound in this one, Max Free. What do we have on him? A power pitcher that is going to pitch aggressively with the fastball. His fastball velocity ranks near the top in the league. We'll also throw the slider, but if you're a hitter, be ready for the fastball. You're going to see a few of them during your at-bat. Now, Jose Altuve. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And here it comes. That one ripped, but foul.
Next offering is downstairs. There's the strike. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Up the middle, all these. And they get out Tuve for the out. Now we check out the Astros lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One out, base is empty. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Kyle Tucker. Ground ball could be two. Throws to second for one, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back at the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. Here's Matt Olson. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Singy here on Jackie Robinson Day. What comes to mind? Courage. I think about what Jackie Robinson had to endure to be a Major League Baseball player, what he had to deal with in society, but also what he had to deal with in his own clubhouses. To be able to go out there and do that day in and day out, man, that just speaks courage to me. And the 2 Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And... As a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command, and it got him a punch out that time. Marcelo Zuna, the next to hit, takes outside. France, a six-foot righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a changeup, a curve, and occasionally mixes in the slur. One down, base is empty. Fouled off. He was late. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. That oh. one misses, and it's two and two. And there's a ball. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll touch them all. His second home run of the series, it's 1-0. The count was full, but he was ready to swing it.
knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So one out, nobody on. Adam Duvall at the plate. Ball Just one. missed. And the righty deals. To third. Sends it across the first. And that's an out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. Close oh, one. one doesn't get the call. Ball one. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. And that's down a base hit. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Orlando Arcia in the box now. No balls and a strike. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. France keeping an eye on him. Righty delivers. Oh, that's off the plate. That one fouled hard the other way. Harris off of first with two away. Next pitch downstairs, and the count's even at two. Just off the inside edge, Travis Darno in the on deck circle. Out and miss, struck him out. Third out. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Braves one and the Astros nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here is Yaner Diaz. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Free back to work. And that one fouled off. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. And now the lefty. Fall off foul. Oh, and two now. And ball one. The lefty fires. That two misses balls, the zone. Two, two balls, two strikes. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Touches down, that's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And here's the first baseman. And that's in the dirt.
with the go ahead run at the plate bottom half of inning number two that one pulled foul that's in there and it's one and two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here fights that one away still one and two and that skips into there where to lay off that pitch down he just misses there on this count runner not known for his speed but I think you got to put him in motion try to avoid a double play here though Jeremy Pena waits on deck and the pitch the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four not the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound now he's going to have to really dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam first and second no outs Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros this is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pug, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. Ball one, no strike. The pitch. Ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two and all to count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And Acuna able to make the grab. Runner tags up for third. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. Two on, one out. Here's Mauricio Dubon. That one out to right. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline. He's safe. We're tied at one. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tie and run. So next up for Houston, Jake Myers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That delivers outside. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count two and one. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. And a pitch. I can't lose, Boog. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Got him. And that is the third out of the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. We play two full, all tied 1-1. Back here in Houston, and now it's Travis Darno at the play. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. That's in there. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. 
That is true. Breaking ball, ball inside. And right. yeah, that's ball one. The pitch. That one fouled off. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Diaz makes the grab, one down. Up next for Atlanta, the right field. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. All tied up. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. him out. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Grounded out his first time. Strike one. On one. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-2. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. On, that misses the zone. Now 1-2. And, and that's in the dirt. Down. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Down in order, go the Braves. Score remains tied, 1-1. One, one. And we're back. And now, Greg Kessinger trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. The line of the pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Why to kick the pitch? Gets him to chase after that one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The pitch. Ground ball left side. Throws across the diamond. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Bases empty one away here in the last half of the third. And now it's even up. One one is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Hood gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Arcia whips it to first. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. And the Astros put down in order. Astros are down quietly. 
Still tied 1 1. Back here in Houston, start of the fourth, and now Austin Riley. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Nope. Good eye in that spot. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. That's oh. off the mark. Two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. And there's one down. Here is Matt Olson. His first at bat was a strikeout. Strike one. Oh, and one. two now good job to fight that one off one down base is empty fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2 left hand hitter waits and that one is inside ball one Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss. Curve on the dirt. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Well, obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, and people at home watching it thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's already homer here in this one. Yeah. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Now the 0-1. Ball one, one, one there. One. Late with the swing there. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And a pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. So two down. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Rips that one center field. Base hit into the outfield. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. He was all over that one. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. One for one with a single so far. 
in the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. And that one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And that skips into there. Go ahead, run at second. Top half of inning number four. Up the middle. Altuve. They take the force out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang play to end the inning. So they strand a pair. On now to the bottom of the fourth. All tied 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the fourth. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Well, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Fouled off. He was late. And a good eye there. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and fires. And yeah, another yeah. ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Wouldn't yeah. chase that time. Yaner Diaz in the on-deck circle. A swing and a soft liner. And that will fall. The leadoff single and the go-ahead run is aboard. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. No outs. Runner at first. Gainer Diaz, the next to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And that one got a piece of him. These types of mistakes usually turn out to be costly this late in the ball game. Things can really slip away in a hurry. And now the first baseman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. On the ground, right side. Over to Arcia. That's one. Relay to first double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. And he boots it. In comes the runner from third and a two-run ball game now. Well, this has been a good, tight game so far, but now that error looms pretty large. I've got to think that's going to weigh on him for a little while, and unless somehow they can come back and win this thing. Two outs, runner on first. 
And next to hit for Houston, Mauricio, the kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw. Save. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Man on second, two down. And That's another ball. ball. Two balls, no strike. That, that one three. misses. And that's ball three. Jake no Myers to bat next. Pena stands at second with two gone. And a foul ball. Man at second. Into center. Harris has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. We played four. It's the Astros two, and the Braves one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Orlando Arcia. The pitch. That one to first. And it gets by him. And that puts the tying run on base. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Darno. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. See you later. That's one way to quiet the crowd. His first homer of the year, and the Braves had the lead now. It's 4-2. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. He's just too good of a hitter at the plate. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. And there's a strike. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody out with three runs in already this frame. And we're at the top of the fifth. I got a ball Next pitch three. in the dirt. And the count even one and one. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. And the right-hander deals. The punch out there. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. 
Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. And it's fouled away. Right hander kicks deals. He swings and fouls one off. To the right side. And that one handled. Gathers and throws to first. And there are two outs. Matt Olson up to the plate. Ball for a strike. 1 1. And there's a ball. Two outs. That's a little bit low. Rip to third. The throw to first, and that is that. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Rysel Iglesias. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And stepping in for the Astros, Jake Myers. The center fielder, Jake Myers. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, Iglesias measures six feet two inches. 34 year old vet and he was born in Cuba and a 1 1 swing and a miss as that one was high one ball two strikes That two one goals, missed. Two strikes. Backed off the game. plate that time. Bounce to the left side. Riley He's fires down. to first. One up, one down. Now that's and now here is Greg Kessinger. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Next ball pitch misses inside. inside, and it's one and two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay. He's in there. Greg Kessinger with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here.
Here's a former MVP, Jose Altuve. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First oh, offering, and it just misses. With the tying run at the plate, last half of inning number five. That oh, no. one not close. Yeah, that's ball two. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a lot, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. You're Don Alvarez, waiting to hit for Houston. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out, is he going to get a pitch to hit? Tying run at the plate. And ball four to a board. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. One for two. Well, if he gets the save here, he's going to have earned it. Just getting through this hitter is going to be a challenge enough. Check oh, swing down. didn't go. Ball one. Wouldn't oh, chase man. that time. Home plate umpires trying to tighten go. things up a little bit. Two on, one out. I got three in there. Kyle Tucker. Up next for the Astros. Rio down. That's ripped into the outfield. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. It's 4 3. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball, just couldn't get it to drop in. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So they're down to their final out. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. We can see a shift right here, only down a run, and it feels like anything can happen. One swing of the bat changes everything. Flips the corner. And it's a 1-1. Oh, that was just paint on the first pitch fastball. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Way outside. And one and one. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover. Something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next pitch is outside. Down to their final strike. This could end it. And now the lefty. And a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the run. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Really important at bat coming up now. And yeah, the batter now, Gaynor Diaz. And fouled off. So the tying run at second. Fastball in for a strike. And it's nothing in two. Action in the pen down there. Aaron Bummer getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Deal two. Called out on strikes. The tying and go ahead run 
runs are left aboard as this one is over. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.